Hi, I'm Dan from BlueCotton.com and today I'm going to show you how to burn your image from your films onto your screen. You may remember our uh, B image from the previous videos. Uh, today we're going to um, burn it onto the screen uh, blow out the emulsion and that way we'll have the image on the screen for the next step of our printing process. Alright, what we're going to be doing is using our homemade light table here. Uh, you can build one just like it. It's just basically the frame and we've got some fluorescent bulbs inside all covered with a piece of glass. What we're going to do is we're going to tape our film onto the glass to keep it still. Now what this is going to do, the light from the light table is going to uh, harden the emulsion on the screen, but wherever the, the ink from the, the film is at is going to block that light, and so that, that, that emulsion underneath the ink is going to be soft, and so we're going to blow that out later, and that's going to create the image on the screen. Now when you're taping your image down, you're, to do a normal front location on a t-shirt, the way you're going to want to do it is to have the image uh, face up but facing away from you. That way when you're printing it and when you load the shirt it's going to be landing on the chest area. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and line up the screen to the image like so. And then you're going to want to put some kind of want to put some weight on here to get a good solid seal on it so that the screen is right up against the, the film. Now that it's all in place, you just turn on the light table and let it expose for a few seconds. Depending on the intensity of your light uh, will determine the amount of time that you'll expose your film for. Uh, typically here at Blue Cotton we expose our films for about 15 seconds. Now if you're having um, multiple colors like what we're doing with this image, uh, you're going to want to make sure that they all um, get burned onto the screen at the, um, in the same place so they'll be easier to line up. Um, a tip that, you'll, that will probably help you line it up is to take your frame and then draw an image around it with a sharpie so you'll see on your light table where your frame is going to land and then um, just using measurements with a tape or a ruler um, you put your each of your films in the exact same spot and shoot them one at a time with your frame being in the exact same spot using your guidelines from your sharpie now this is our uh, screen after we have burned the image onto it as you can see it looks exactly the same um, you cannot see that some of the emulsion is still soft. We're going to take it down to the washout area and, and wash out all the soft emulsion and our um, image will appear that way. Alright, we've got the image burned onto the screen now. We are ready to uh, blow out the image. We're just going to be using a standard water hose and a regular uh, garden hose nozzle. Um, depending on the intensity of the light and how long you uh, burned your image for, will determine how long it'll take, but it usually doesn't take very long. You just spray it out normally and the image will start uh, appearing. Now after you're done spraying out the image, you're going to want to hold it up to a light and look through it to make sure that there's not any old dried pieces of emulsion still in there and to make sure that you got everything out so that you get a, um, a clear image being printed onto your shirt and that there's nothing in there to uh, block the ink. It looks pretty good. Here at BlueCotton.com we have this slightly expensive direct to screen printer. It eliminates our need for films and uses light blocking ink to uh, print directly onto the screen and it produces a higher quality and more consistent print while reducing the uh, chance of pinholes. Now 
the screens are blown out, we're going to uh, put them in the rack to dry. Once they're dry, you're going to want to tape out the crosshairs and any information you might have on the screen, such as the ink color or uh, the location of it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.